Did I lose a health here? I thought I had seven health for a while. I could be wrong. Okay, so we've got the experienced swindler. But remember it, you can also do some other things. Okay, well, anyway, right of the Crucible Soul. Swindler! Let's see, so desire we don't want to do. Instrument. Okay. We need Grail. There we go. Summon one of the more bewildering creatures of the Red Grail. Whoop! Grail for the raw, raw profit source and a little moth for its chaos addiction. Fun. Okay. So, there's our answer. Okay, so we have Restlessness, which will turn into Depression. Uh, I'll have to paint with it before it goes away. That way the contentment can deal with things. Okay, so we have a Raw Prophet, and then everything else goes back. What are you? Moth 8, Cup 8. What can this do? I don't I don't exactly know what you can use moth for or grail will, it, will that eat something good for destroying evidence not exactly helpful uh, for what I'm trying to go for we could throw it into an expedition well sure why don't we throw it into the Vandershaft collection Good luck, Raw Prophet. Admittedly, I could have actually just sent... Um, I could have just sent uh, the, the thief in, but I guess this makes sense. Okay. Yeah, what this will do is let me scout it out so I can remember what it is. Or... Uh, oh. Okay, well this is easy enough. So, Warded Door, Forger Knock, and Heart or Winter. So, I guess I'm just doing this one. This will be easy enough, honestly. This run is four, long four hours longer than it needed to be. Is it? I mean, this is not supposed to be a short game. Like, pretty much the only way I could have made it this gone faster was just give myself an insane amount of money. Without that, this would have been tough. Let's see, we have nothing. Okay, so we get some restlessness. I'm going to preemptively... Uh, create a nice mystique swarm. It'll keep them around for a little while, but I just need the extra... I need the extra space for a second. Let's hold on to the contentment. We have nothing to spend it on here. Let's see. You turtled quite a bit. I'm sorry I got paranoid. This game killed me repeatedly. Grail and Moth are some of the more infrequently used challenges. You can also loop summon the creature by using it and the knock tool with the lantern ritual. Really? But yeah, I, I will admit that I hoarded, hoarded money like crazy for a while. Um, but honestly, I don't know. I just got so frustrated losing and getting set back to the beginning. That eventually it was just like, I just... I just want... Uh, you know, I just want to win. Okay, that's a decent Mystique Swarm. Let's make it a bit bigger. I should have some more passion hanging out here. I've got so much passion. I'm a passionate man, apparently. And this is also a good way to hold on to content contentment for at least a little while.
Okay, so. Dry soul course without winter or heart. We can just turn around. Well, that's fine. And he finds nothing, so the Mystique Swarm was not necessary. Well, still. It's nice to have a Mystique Swarm just to... Just to protect you. One of my other problems is just like... Oh, I guess I'll have to get rid of the Restlessness. At least I know I can get rid of Restlessness, which is kind of helpful. Okay, and we're going to paint with passion on Restlessness. Nice part is it also gets me a small amount of money. How much money do I have? Only 107, but then again, I haven't been doing... Commissions for a while. Okay, and let's throw her in. This was an easier expedition than I thought it would be. So I guess I'll start exploring uh, stuff like... Ah, uh, oh, right. Commission. Commission is Lantern. Go from there. Okay. So the walls of the Painted Chamber carry scenes of war from all the major histories. Vienna falling to the worms, the Sovereigns of the Leash Flame burning, the martyr soldiers of the Knot Sisterhood, the meeting of Alexander and the Shadowless King. Along one wall, a shelf is stuffed with junk and curiosities. Okay. So we have some... Th Ooh, we got some things. I think that's consumable. We have a rattling of the soul. Shumble. Okay, so that means I can get nothing else from that. So let's just get rid of that initially. Um, hmm. So Spencer Hobson, Weary Detective. I guess I'll move Poppy over here, because she's not a threat anymore. Oh, shoot. I am hallucinating. We'll end up picking up some extra dread here. Or not dread. Okay, so let's see if we can get rid of him. We do have the raw profit. But the raw profit will not get rid of things. Yeah, I didn't realize I'd picked up so much uh, fascination, which sucks. Because I've got Rattling of the Soul. Is there anything else that I can do to... I guess let's... Uh, okay. We, we've hit one of those points where this game could easily end on us at any point. Um, because, once again, it likes to do this to me. I'm not even spelling Cult Strong particularly well anymore. Okay. So what do we have? We have the ciphered, that's Latin. Okay, so despite the fact that I'm actually on death's door... We do have the notoriety I'd like to get rid of. The problem is we've also got the rattling of the soul, which usually turns into... Um, hmm. This is a problem, right? I was going to dream on reason. This has screwed me over in the past. It has just given me... Um, more glimmering radiance or whatever. Yeah, I still don't like the um, f f the loss via dread and fascination. They got they're kind of boring ways to go. I understand you're supposed to manage them, but they always sneak up on you really quick. Usually, if you're painting too much or working too much for Glover and Glover, which I guess is fair, but still. I don't think the Paradoxical Curio is going to be very helpful. We do have Rose Pearl Dust, but I don't think that's going to last. But yeah, so I need to generate some Dread. So I'm going to try and kill the cop. Oh good, I'm sick. Let's see. Oh, that's why it's going so slow. I was like, why is everything painfully slow right now? Alright. 
Did he survive? He did! Yes, there are horrible things in the world, but that's all the more reason to resist them. I should thank you, you've shown me what I must do. The hunter has become an idealist. Yes. Alright, we do get some dread. But, shit. I mean, worst comes to worst, I get rid of some evidence. We do have the raw profit. Profit. What can I do? I can actually just have it scout for me now that I'm thinking about it. That won't run the timer. Okay. So let's read this. Develop an understanding of the long dead fusion language. It is something in common with Latin and something else in common with the scratchings of maddened rats. Ooh, yes. And that should get me both a cup and a heart. Uh, book. High end, too, if I'm lucky. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We don't want to do that. We actually need the dread. And you can also sacrifice your raw profit back to the ritual. That is actually super helpful. But if you just, um, exploration chain it, it should solve the problem as well. We have professional muscle. And I do have a nice Mystique Swarm, so it shouldn't just immediately take... Uh, let's see, I don't have any Vitality right now. Reason and Restlessness. Okay, and I'm just gonna get rid of the... Affliction with Fawns. I guess I didn't start it immediately. Okay. I'm gonna hold on to the one that's gonna go faster. Good! Okay, we're in the clear. Because the, uh, unless that spits out a rumor. Oh, it spit out a rumor. Okay, so not as good. Anyway, I'm now a Fusine Scholar. It's actually incredibly helpful, because I can start getting through these. Lock the study door, the work begins. Okay, while you're at it, we get the professional muscle, who I might have to just keep around for a little while. Raw Prophet keeps going. I could send him to try and murder uh, Spencer Hobson. But with too, too notoriety and potentially, you know, the opportunity, or potentially not losing it, we could be in trouble. This game could use a lot of hotkeys for things. It could. I'm not entirely sure if I'd want to rely on them, though. It gets kind of awkward. Oh, whoop. Takes the dread. Or, it takes that notoriety. Well, that's fine. I can deal with circumstantial evidence. I might even be able to get rid of it. Because we do have the opportunity to do so. So we have a book. Those who do not sleep. The sister and witch were born in two wombs. One poor, one rich, across the sea. The sister was stronger in the aspect of the heart. And so their survival was assured. The witch was stronger in the aspect of the grail, so they were not satisfied. Okay. Then I'm gonna pay off the professional muscle to stick around for a bit. Alright, so that's gone. Alternatively, start subject Spencer Hobson. Keep the raw profit going. I'm going to use the raw profit to try and get rid of the circumstantial evidence, if possible. Because it should be good at getting rid of evidence. Assuming we kill, uh, assuming we manage to finally kill Spencer Hobson. Okay, we're getting a lot of strange streets by moonlight. But I don't want to deal with that. Saving might be a good idea now. Uh, I saved recently. So we have Rite of the Seas Feasting. And a very high level heart. 
which is good. Means once this whole hubbub of me having extreme notoriety is done, and me trying to assassinate uh, Spencer Hobson, then I can look into. Um, then I can look into. Uh, doing some commissions again. I guess I might as well do it now. Oh, it's so nice to finally get rid of that. And I have nothing to hang on to. We do end up with some tentative evidence, but I think I'll be okay. And this has found us a entry consultant, which we don't really need. Like, for the most part, these, these hirelings are nice, but right now they're going to get me in more trouble than they're useful for. Okay. So we have a human corpse, some notoriety, and professional muscle. So we finally got rid of uh, Spencer Hobson. Awesome. Uh, in that case, I'm just going to pay this guy to stick around for a little bit more. I'm going to send him after the weary detective next. At least I think. Or we should probably also get rid of the tentative evidence before that does anything bad to me. But yeah, we can finally turn in the commission to Dr. Jennings. A high heart. We could summon a Percussigant. That's an interesting name. Okay, Hulking Fellow. Don't really need a Hulking Fellow compared to the professional muscle. Okay, so I'm keeping him around for a second. Okay, we've got double notoriety. I could... Let's go double, triple or nothing. Because I'm going to have a lot of notoriety here. But if I can kill... If I can kill him, then we never have to think about it again. Oh, the corpse already decayed. Well, it's fine. Okay, the raw profit is almost done. I think. I wait word. Okay. So we have more no notoriety and another human corpse, but that's fine. Raw profit. On tentative evidence. Okay, so now that I've done that, we need to use this human corpse in something. Uh, nope. Right. I never figured out how to do a human... Uh, how do I deal with a human corpse? Because we found this one out, sort of. What about Seas Feasting? We've never actually looked at that one. Oh, this is where it goes. Okay, I want to say Bone Flute. An Invocation. Is it Forge? Ah! Forge is Redemption. Oh, no, that, that'll get rid of a... Um, that'll get rid of something. That's not what I'm looking for. How do I do... I'm gonna just toss the bone flute over here. Because, yeah, if I can make a shambling dead, we could use that. Um... Oh, use this right with a knock influence and a bone flute or other resources of equal power to summon a Caligna. Let's knock in winter. Bone flute is winter. It doesn't seem to like those. Maybe. What if I put this one in? It's not taking it. I 
It doesn't it doesn't seem particularly interested in these things. Um I guess we could try cop. Cause yeah, at this point I'm just kind of chucking whatever. Not heart. Moth? Oh. With a little bit more winter aspect and a little bit more moth and a corpse, I might be able to make a cunning servant. First, I must plant the seeds under the eyelids, under the tongue. In all secret openings of the body, it will awaken as a burgeoning risen. Alright, let's start doing that. Get rid of that tentative evidence. Okay. And... Oh. They don't send anybody. Okay. We don't have a hunter on us. So, it looks like... It looks like going, um... Triple or nothing actually paid off really well. Give it your desired. No, that's for Ascension. Instead, we have the Burgeoning Risen. The growths of the wood have encompassed the corpse's organs, swelled its eyes like a gourd, twined around its heart. Its eyes are moist with cunning, and it moves with a jerky puppet grace. Its bones are rotten wood, and soon will take root. But until then, he'll be a swift and subtle servant. Well, in that case, Orthos would. Good luck, good luck, zombie. I believe in you. I mean, I could send him at one of the easier ones at first. Nah. I should probably have enough for this. In the black heart of Orthos Wood, we might find the tree where the masked crow met its peers, but the forest itself is in, is a peril, and the cannibal clans who live there are another. What is this guy? Moth and Winter. Two aspects I normally don't have. Well, we've got another... Oh, we've got another moth. I could just send Eldridge. Oh, let's send the per professional muscle. And a second bit of funds. I'm committed to making this one work. I'm just sending the expendables first, just in case it doesn't. Ah. Alright. So, my summon minion screwed up there. Well... This is messy. So what do we've got? We have... Long ago, the primal trees marched from sea to sea. Some traces of their rain still survive, like this dense and choking territory of root and thorn. The practicalities of forge and the mysteries of moth may see us through. And then we've also just got some people to fight. Fought, seduced, or deceived. Uh, is moth deception? I actually don't know. Well, one way or another, we want forge to start with. Or Mysteries of Moth. Well, we've already got Moth, yeah? So let's let's send more Moth. I've got plenty of those. So Moth will work for both. Well, in that case, let's just, um, let's just jam our Moths into that. And let's hope the notoriety situation kind of solves itself. Yeah, just pile in Moth. The wood beneath the mansus is darker even than this place. The moth will guide our footfalls. And we might be safe for a while. Like, we might be really safe. I'm assuming at some point somebody will come along to come for us. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna thir throw the third moth in. Or four, uh, fourth, I don't know. We have a 19 month moth aspect. Deception and stealth. Well then, I think this should succeed. Okay, and I'm gonna throw in one extra funds. Look closer, closer still, closer. Keep looking closer. Now close your eyes. Oh, that's creepy. Creepy good though. Oh, let's see, while we're at it, Count Jannings. We're finally done. I have what was requested. Commission, Lantern, Reason. Because yeah, we should start. We should start doing these. 
Okay. So we get a bronze spintra. Damn. That um, took a little longer than it should have. But now we've got our third commissioner, so I can I can consistently just get tons of money. Potentially. Gotta make it a little bit further in some ways, but that that's okay. And yeah, the notoriety, the evidence, they're all gonna go away. Their bewilderment is our opportunity. We'll pass in silent secrecy. And yeah, we might actually be able to beat this game. Not soon, but still. This is the great oak where the masked crow once roosted. Lightning has split it from head to head, and the tree is charred and rotting. It squirms with finger-length worms. Something glints dully in the swarm of dead roots. Okay, so we get our funds back. We get some more notoriety, but right now, hard to care. So we get Lethe. Byzantine Tinct. And the Incumbent Tantra. And then just all my characters back. Okay. Let's see, and we've got that. Okay, so we want Right of the Crucible Soul, Professional Muscle. Heart and Knock. Okay. The Percussic Ant. Merciless and merry. Heart will it will bring it. Edge will constrain it. And if we end up with another, another uh, hunter, well, we'll just send it after him. Not that this is really going after me. Um, do you go to the Fermier Abbey, or shall we just chuck it? Let's do one of the easy ones. Uh, let's take this out for a second. Nope. So this is... Strathcoin's residence, the house of Mr. Strathcoin, a collector of rare objects. Strathcoin will not sell his treasures, but a sufficiently cunning accomplice might gain entry. Okay, so we're just going to send our, our Zamble in. Go after him. Um, might be time to switch soon. We'll just send two funds. I mean, I'm actually well below 200. I should probably start making money again consistently. Oh, I'm just busy. Oh, we might have a hunter. Okay. So this is just moth. We have Inspector Wakefield. He's already grim, meticulous, always succeeds at creating evidence from notoriety, and mortal. Well, not for long. Okay. We still have some notoriety. We have the Percussigant. The Percussigant, it loves the system's shiver. It loves the thrum of the tympanos. It recalls with fondness the fling of Marsyas. And so it will not, will not, will not stop dancing. Alright, so this sucker is one hell of an assassin, so one hell of an assassin. Go take out Professional Wakefield. My minion is powerful, this hunter is unlikely to survive, but the attempt will draw attention. That's okay. Okay, and let's just keep sending these. Okay. And we don't have any other notoriety, so if I just hold on to this... Oh, it took my subject, you piss. I'm just going to chuck it in there. Not going to help. <clears throat> well, I mean, it kind of will help, but mainly it'll just uh, keep it going. Until he's done searching. 
Yeah, the fact that it can take the investigator out of an assassination attempt so that he can investigate is stupid. You should be able to run both at the same time. But we're about to run out of our te tentative evidence, probably. Okay, he just got some notoriety. We'll get some more tentative evidence. I'll live. Affliction funds. Okay. So we have the Tantra of Worms. More Pearl Rose Dust. A lot of consumables. Eh, two books, though. Got a couple, actually. If you put Wakefield in first, he can't get stolen. But then it'll try and create create another investigator. Ah, okay. Makes sense. Okay, well, I'm just going to send out the Percussagant searching. Luckily, I can just make those, which is kind of nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to keep him searching uh, to keep him occupied. Sorry, burgeoning Risen. You're kind of pointless. I wonder if he's going to turn into notoriety if he'll just expire peacefully. He just burns away. Awesome. Okay. I notice a lot of these things are a lot better at uh, escaping than I am. Or not escaping, they're a lot better at searching than I am. Exploring. That's the word. Confuse me. Okay, we do get another hireling. A bomb maker. But I don't care too much for a bomb maker. I wonder if I could use the bomb maker to do cult work. You know, uh, forge aspect stuff. Probably not. Anyway, so we're going to end up with some uh, tentative evidence. It's fair. But then I'm going to try and kill him. Why do I have a passion down there? Unfortunately, the center of my board is starting to get uh, shitty bloated again. And all this stacking. Ah. Commission, forge. We might as well start getting these done. Let's see, don't forget to study my books. This is true. I'm mostly just trying to get rid of uh, Detective Wake Wakefield. Okay, so now this time he will die. Alright. Is this one? No, it does not look like the Wainscot histories are at all uh, mistranslated or untranslated. So subtitled Stories from Behind the Walls, a miscellany of non-traditional histories compiled by... William Gore, including battles not generally acknowledged in countries which appear on no map, told in a playful, apparently fictional matter. I think this one will be kind of useless. The Incandescent Tantra is the one that I really care about, because that's going to give me some more forge lore. Oh right, we do also have this book. I totally forgot about it. Okay, is it switching time? It's just about switching time. Or, more specifically, Bird is waiting for me. Oh well. I'm just hoping I can finish him off and get some peace and quiet for a while. Okay. We've captured him. <clears throat> and we get some notoriety. Okay, well that that's fine. I can I can deal with notoriety. Dorothy. Deal with it. Okay, and we get a furtive truth. Well, that was boring. Uh, what's this written in? Michael Blockley, eccentric iron magnet, was found of quoting from this tantra. Blockley died in a factory fire. So... Oh. Is that a language I can't read? Oh, no, it's Sanskrit. Okay, well, that's easier. Might not be a good book, though. We'll see. Okay, well, I should stop. We, we've made some progress. I can start getting rid of hunters, which is cool.